welcome back to Screen Queen Stream. Y'all know me, I'm Jessica Cameron. Over here to my left is the wonderful and talented Heather Dorf, and in the middle is our favorite ginger, Miss Danny Stuck in the middle with you. Oh, that's right. Today, we're gonna be talking about a movie that Danny Inks picked. And that is the 2001 film Donnie Darko, which for the record, it's available now for free on Amazon Prime. You can find it on a few other places and it's also available for rent and obviously purchase. So the one that is available on Amazon Prime is the theatrical release. It is not the director's cut. My understanding is the director's cut is very different and offers a lot more explanation and is much oh, clearer. That's the one I watched. I, I would love to see that <laughs> one. Okay. I think I watched that one. <laughs> you had one job. Great. <laughs> and it involved clicking on a link the that I sent I you. The one I don't, the one I've never seen. Okay. Well, okay. Just, well maybe she can provide some insight. Who True. Knows? So let's just first jump into it. So the cast, as you probably know, because this is not a new movie, is Jake with Gyllenhaal in the first film that I remember seeing him in, but not the first according to his IMDb. Yeah. Maggie Gyllenhaal, Jenna McLone, James Duvall, Patrick Swayze, Drew Barrymore, Seth Rogen, Ashley Tisdale. Frank Kranz plays a Who's Ashley Tisdale? Uh, she was like in High School Musical, and I think I know, she just but like I, know she in that. I was like, where yeah, is I she? Her, like, her. her and Frank Kranz, I think they're just extras. It's just like the, the first thing they did. Yeah. So I, I was going to say. Because I couldn't find either one, but I wanted to know. Was she one of the little school. girls in the dance troupe? I literally She might have been one of the little girls in the dance troupe. I forget. She's a very minor role. Oh, she might be that. I think she was one of the girls in the dance That would make a lot of sense. I knew that. I knew that little girl looked familiar. Hold on, I'm getting my drink. I don't even remember now. Okay. So, uh, obviously, I think we can all agree the cast is great, even mm -hmm. though I think at the time most people didn't recognize a lot of the younger talent. Like, I didn't know Jake, Maggie, Jenna, James, Seth. Yeah. We knew yeah, Patrick Rogan, and Drew. That was before he. Ever. Patrick and Drew Patrick really Swayze. were the. Oh, and um, uh, what's his bucket? Um, what's his bucket? Oh, oh that one bucket? cute um, guy, too. No, Wiley, because he was on. Oh, yeah, um, no, Wiley. ER. He was, he was on ER. the teacher guy, right? Yeah, he was the, the teacher guy. The, the traveling teacher, the time travel teacher yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, no, he was just cute. That's yeah. <laughs> all so I remember. Well, he's, he was on ER for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I never watched that, but I do remember him vaguely. He's been in like some random movies he crops up. Usually yep. like Lifetime type shit, I feel like, but yeah. Well, yeah. I personally really like the cast because I was, I, again, like watching it years later, seeing how many of them became something is kind of... Well, even like the really ultra-religious older one, or whatever she is, Patrick mm -hmm. Swayze's like freaking... Oh, yeah, she's, love she's a character. She's a she's, bunch of stuff. She's yeah. done yeah. a lot for I years. I can't hear her name because I didn't recognize her name, but you'll yeah. recognize her face. Yeah, you know, you just know yeah. her. You just know her. She's just in stuff all the time. Oh, yeah, oh she, well, she's, she's a, a lady that gets uh, thrown under the bus on uh, Speed. Speed. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I know her. <laughs> Same thing. I was like, oh my god, love that. That's all I remember right now, but she's also, she's usually plays a religious character. Yeah. I feel like it happens a lot. She's done a lot of, I believe uh, she's done a lot of stage stuff for Broadway as well. Awesome. Oh, is she a singer? You no, 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 no. Like, just plays. Like, yeah, Broadway. Just yeah, regular. like, just like plays. Because mm -hmm. okay. she's like a classically trained, I believe. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Okay. So Okay. So essentially if you guys are not familiar, this is supposed to be like I think I was trying to find and I couldn't the plot as it was originally listed <laughs> because I feel like the plot as it was originally listed is not what it is today. So if you look for it today, you'll find something along the lines of it's a subtle superhero story story, but it's not a superhero movie. Uh so she makes one comment about him having a superhero like name. Mhm. Mm well, but I then mean, he also does have a superhero like name. He does. I mean, so, he I does. Mean, let's just be honest. There's well, weird yeah, references she, well, she throughout. Made a, she made a call. Oh, a superhero film. You know what? At this point, someone's just trolling. That's just troll. So essentially, uh, the plot, <laughs> the, the synopsis I found that I liked was during the presidential election of 1988, a teenager named Donnie Darko sleepwalks out of his house one night and sees a giant, demonic looking rabbit named Frank who tells him that the world will end in 28 days. When Donnie returns home, he finds that a jet engine has crashed into his bedroom. Uh, and then the movie sort of takes off from there. So I'm going to stay right away to you, just so everyone's clear. This review is going to contain spoilers. Spoilers. Yes. Spoilers. And also, really, they mentioned the presidential election. Like, I think one reference is made to that, right? And then never again. Like, they reference it a couple times, actually. Do they? Yeah. So I then remember it's like, the is Donnie really? living in a parallel universe, or is he suffering from mental illness? Or will the world really end? Again, though, is the presidential election a big deal in this thing? Because I feel like I don't... I didn't stick with that in my mind. Like, it's referenced, but it's not like a No, plot. but it does Major say it point. takes place in 1988, and that was, like, the big thing. Yeah, it wasn't a random. It wasn't I just love that that's how they explain it in the synopsis. Yeah. Like, okay. Well, but let's jump into what worked. Um, I think some of the acting is the on acting, point. The casting, even, the acting. Even though a lot of times some of the lines are like, 
no one would ever say this. Not even the dumbest person would say some of these lines. Like, it just doesn't work. But yeah, some lines were a little awkward. they're at least mostly performed well, even when it's completely unrealistic. I yeah. think everyone did a pretty good job. I think... Um, I thought the family dynamic was great. I believe yeah. the family dynamic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I believed too. that uh, was he was like the struggling sort of child, the troubled child. I believe the brother sister dynamic. Obviously, they cast a brother and sister, so that was you know. Partially even the little sister fit yeah. well. Yeah, which is not their real sister. No, she's the only one. She was. I also. I don't know. I, she I think was that little girl is the ring girl. Oh, is she? I think she can be. I actually think so. I think that's God, a thing that was Well, so the other thing that I really liked was that I felt that the kids really looked and were believably children. I find a lot of the time, like, the kids are so polished in today's, you know, yeah. cinema world. They look like real kids. These look like real little kids. Like, adorable, but, like, real actual, actual kids that kids. you see running around. Right? right? Like, Jake Gyllenhaal... Obviously, he grew to a very handsome man. But he's, he's not the most kind of handsome awkward. looking child. Yeah, well, I they make him look weird and creepy. creepy. Looking. Well, they he well, he was, go for that. I feel like he was a creepy kind because, of, like, we've all gone through like the awkward stage. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if you girls did, but I totally I did. did. I'm I still kind of going through it. So awkward. It's not awkward. Of course, let's be honest. He's kind of. Creepy, he's just like creepy. acting. It's like, it's, but it's also because of the facial he's expression. But he's only yeah. That was yeah. That was yeah. He had a good creepy look, and obviously he and Maggie look alike in there. I actually don't think they look alike. Still, I don't really? see it. I think yeah, they look especially so now. Much look at them now. No, now, now, I don't think now it's different. Like, no, back I, then they looked. Back so then much I saw it. I didn't see it now, but I saw it. Back I, then. I've never seen it. In fact, I would never have guessed that they were related. So Her nose now. and everything is like completely different from him. But well, I mean, now they might have worked. Out now it. they don't look at all. No, amazing. it's the it's the eyes mm -hmm. in their eyes. They, mm. they do have like the almond shaped. They do. But that's about it. So, <laughs> what else worked for you? Um. I, I love Patrick Swayze's. I liked his character. Oh yeah, and I loved him. I don't, I've never seen him play a character like that. So yeah, I, I, I like that he did play somebody like that, but it was uber. I, it was very, very unbelievable. Yeah, it's over the top. I mean, it is, but point. I thought it was supposed to be. It, it is. I mean, I think so. <laughs> that's the thing that's always hard to tell with this film. It's like, was this done on purpose, like tongue in cheek, like, or was it like an accident? It's, a lot of that's hard to tell, which works and doesn't work. I think it's like a both. It works. It doesn't work. I think the pacing both works and doesn't work. It's really random. No scene seems to be over a few minutes, and then they always jump to some other random fuck. It's always just like, bam, 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 bam. bam. Yeah, were, like, yeah like they were on drugs or something. The whole film that. is like someone's on drugs, which is fine. Well, but like, I was tagged in a meme today of like making Donnie Darko, and it's like a camcorder that's like got a pot aspect, so they're like smoking the camcorder. <laughs> It's just, it's, it, yeah, and again, it's like, for th it works and doesn't work. I think there's some um, societal and, like, philosophical things speaking to, like, people well, and human nature, I think, works. I like that they didn't just make him crazy. They made him stupid fucking smart. Right. Like, because right. Because they, like, they made, like, because they referenced his test scores, and even the principal said your test scores are, what, what was the word he used, um, intimidating. Yeah. Because he's that smart, well, and he like isn't makes there, really smart. Isn't points. there a theory though? The smarter you are, the more likely the crazier. Oh, yeah, well, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like well, that's, yeah, yeah, that's that's why I really appreciated that because it's more like real life. Mm -hmm. Not, I mean, not that every crazy person is smart. Because no, like, well, dumb crazy people. Out there. Yeah, I mean that too. Feels well, like I feel like, like the harmless dumb crazy, uh, the harmless crazy, they're often dumb, but the ones that can do damage are often smart. Yeah, yeah I think that's also why like so well. few of them get caught. It depends. Anyways, okay. What um, else worked? Anything else? Because we're gonna jump um, to what I, I, Like I said, I like that they made him smart. I love um, the. I really love what Drew Barry, like Drew Barrymore's character, and how she was like. I, I really liked her. I mean, I like her, but it's so fucking unbelievable. And then when they were like, "You're fired," she's like, "Why?" It's like, do you want me to re go over your two minute scene where you clearly were gonna be fired because you can't do things like that? I don't know. And then she goes outside and like screams, and it's like again. I, yes, yeah, I didn't like, but I did I love. Didn't. I love the '90s vibe of the film and casting Drew 80. Barrymore. Yeah. No, I know that. I, I'm aware of the year, but to me, it felt very '90s yeah. in execution. Even though it was shot in 2001, it felt like a '90s film to me. Well, yeah, because yeah, uh, it was still. But that being said, because it felt like a yeah. '90s film, the fact that they cast Drew Barrymore, who I think of as like the, the star 90s. of the '90s, like, I, like yeah. her and Winona Ryder, and more like her because Winona was more like '80s going into the '90s. Yeah, uh, I thought it was really clever. Although I agree. We'll get to her character and then what didn't work. <laughs> More random. Um, yeah, I mean, 
I, I think it, I like some of the imagery. I like some of the yeah. shots. I think it's like yeah, it's it creative. Really, yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's original. interesting. I like the bubbles, but I didn't like the bubbles. Right. The bubbles coming out of them <laughs> made it seem. Here's the weird. thing. At the end of the day, there's a lot of films out there that don't. You're not quite sure what they're trying to say, and what ends up happening is you're bored out of your fucking mind like 15 minutes in, and this is not one of those films. Even if you're confused, you're like, what the hell is the point of this, and wow, that's really over the top. No matter what, it keeps you interested from beginning to end, I think, anyways. It keeps you okay. watching. Yeah. It you was, don't turn yeah. it off. You're not bored. Yes, yeah. you're not no. bored. You're not Even completely irritated. Even things don't make sense. Some of the characters are really I, work. I, actually, something I really liked was the relationship uh, between Donnie Darko and Jenna Malone's character. Yeah. I very much like that, and it brought me back to that high school love. You know what I mean? That first time, like, you know, I love somebody that you really like, and I really like. I, I believe that there was good chemistry there, and I believe that. One of my favorite lines in that movie actually is like, uh, "Some people are just born with tragedy in their blood, or whatever." Mm-hmm. I think it's something like that. It's it's just a create. It's an interesting. I don't know, yeah, there were some definitely some great memorable lines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, you know we've seen the memes and stuff. To prove was it sparkle motion? Yeah. Oh my god, so I'm, 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 I'm doubting your commitment to that, sparkle motion. That totally worked for me. That whole sparkle <laughs> motion thing totally worked for me. <laughs> that is the whole. I have no doubt because it's like spirit you live your life sparkle motion. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's kind of like I think that's going to be my the name of my autobiography. Danny Inc. Sparkle, sparkle motion. motion. So let's jump to what didn't work then. Which, to me, is pretty much everything else. Like, right. Except for the ending. Uh, which I'll get to. To me, I actually, like, I thoroughly began to hate the film. Uh, I had seen it, like, years ago, but to the point where I barely remembered it. Yeah. But I seriously was like, this is so fucking dumb. It's all fucking stupid. It's ridiculous. I hate it. I was still entertained. I still don't want to turn it off. Why? <laughs> but I was, like, hating it. And then I saw the ending. I was like, oh, yeah, that's why I like it. Because the ending, to me, makes all the bullshit work. Which right. we'll jump to the ending. The ending can be its own topic because I want to make yeah. sure that we go over everything else that doesn't work uh, first. So for me, like again, a lot of the characters don't work. The fact that Jake Gyllenhaal uh, was like mostly just like a sad, grumpy teenager for like two thirds of the film. I would have liked to see more dynamic. Yeah, like there, he didn't have a lot of an arc. They're all very like one note. Yeah, one note. Almost all the characters are like hyper. Yeah. You know, versions of just like one thing that they're yeah. really. I, I feel like they did that on, on purpose. They must, I, but I, I would but hope so. that was an artistic. I don't choice. care if they did it on purpose; it didn't work. For right. Me. I, I mean, thought it was a fail. It's one of those funny things where it's like, in some aspects, it works to move along the story, but, but, but the reality is, it doesn't make sense, right? And well, it does end but up for me right. also, it doesn't make me endeared to the characters. Yeah, I can so see you could do that for a character like Patrick Swayze. You can even do it for a character like. You know, uh, Drew Barrymore, but like for the leads and for the family, I feel like you need for to me, have more. Yeah, especially yeah. when I see a family. Here's the thing: the one thing that pretty much everybody in America has in common is understanding a family dynamic and being empathetic or sympathetic. Even if whether you have a good family life or a bad family life, if you have a good family life, you know what that looks like. If you have a bad family life, that's what you wanted to have. You know, so we are familiar with that. So when we see a family and they don't give us enough to connect with them, I feel like that's a miss. Because every person in America should be able to connect with that family. Right. You know, they should. Well, and it's like, I think the character I relate with the most is Dying Darker, but at the end of the day, even that, it's it's too, it's too still too one note. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I feel for him. Yeah, I liked I liked the family dynamic. I, I thought it was believable. It, they were I thought, Well, note, I thought it was but... believable. It didn't endear me to them. So there's two different things. I believe that they were a family. I just didn't care. So when shit started to go wrong... Or, like, when there was a problem with the child, I didn't care. There wasn't that, like, oh, my God, I hope they fix that. I have fear for their life. Like, I just didn't care enough. Yeah. I wasn't invested. That's what it is. I wasn't I, invested in the family. See, I, I did. There was a moment where the, the mom and dad were, like, laying in bed, and they were talking about this kid they went to high school with who died on the way to prom. And he's like, that could have been Donnie. And, like, that... That moment. That, that moment switched it for me, and that's when and I kind of was like... That's the issue. There's these one-off moments. All yeah. the characters have them. Mm-hmm. That's the philosophical nature of, like, speaking to, like, life and problems. Yeah. It's like almost every single character has it, right? They have these one-off moments that are endearing, but it's just one-off moments. Like, you can name, like, it's basically happened once with every single character, including mm-hmm. the girl, where she's like, some people are just born tragic. You know, it's like every single, but otherwise, they're just, they're, they're one note, but they but they do all have that one moment, so that does make you care about them enough, but it's yeah. still kind it's of like... It's in it for me. It's still I, like, I, I like, like, it's still I, like, it's, I it's flimsy. When it's flimsy. The, when the mom, he said something about being a weirdo, and he says, are you, he says, I'm sorry, I'm a weirdo, or do you hate that I'm a weirdo or something? And, and she's, she's like, like, and she says something like, you know, I love it or something like that. 
Right. So he's, how do you feel having a weirdo as a son? And she says, I love it. I know. Yeah. I agree. I like that moment. That was uh, a so moment. What else didn't work? Um, it was fucking sad and I didn't like it. The jarring editing was, was very, to me, it was excessive. And it took me out of the movie in a lot of places. It makes not it enough for me to turn the movie off. Right. But I wonder how, if the That's editing had not been so jarring, if it was more traditionally narrative, if it had just been better. You look yeah. like you just got so distracted. No, like, because what? I was thinking about, and I never noticed this. Again, it's weird. Oh, yeah. When I first watched this movie, <laughs> no, no, no. When I first watched this movie, I, the first few times I ever, I've, I used to love this movie, actually. I used to love it. I thought it was amazing. But this you time, watched it four times. Yeah, but this time watching <laughs> it was the more, I don't know why, maybe I'm just in a more critical mood right at the moment. But, like, the editing half the time felt like, like, it's like when you accidentally hit rewind or then stop and pause and then yeah, fast forward. It felt clunky. Like it's like, a mistake well, there's just a lot of, like, fast-paced movement that's, and yeah, slow-mo in weird-ass fucking places where I'm like, why, why yeah, is that's this why bad? It's known as such a trippy fucking, like, movie. You gotta be on drugs to really appreciate that. I could that see that. It's, like, it's just random. You gotta be fucked up. It just felt very random. Yeah. There was a level of, like, why is yeah. the first time we see the family in the yard, everything slow-mo? Like, I, I don't. Oh, did you know she's reading It? I laughed about that. Yeah. I was she's like, oh, that was a first. She's reading it, the mom oh, in the yard. Oh, I didn't. Even which is probably some. There's probably some, some like mysterious. Yeah, there's probably some like fucking theory behind that in and of itself. Oh, God it was knows. a big novel in the eighties. Yeah, Stephen King yeah. is huge. It was like, oh yeah, it was a big deal. Um, so anything else that did not work? Like I said, it was a bummer to me. So I didn't really care. I actually, I never. I mean, it, it was, was sad, it but was, I yeah. like. I still like the, the whole too. thing. I can see what that's why they say it's a superhero movie, though, because he goes back and to save the world. I guess. Yeah. So I guess that's one way to. Well, play and that it. goes into so let's go questions, comments, he concerns, save which the is world. really like what. But he so yes and no. So we'll get. So there's two uh, common large theories on how this movie, are, the ending, how it actually works out. So neither camp is right or wrong. It's just open to interpretation because right. nobody involved with film has ever said you're right or wrong. So we don't know. So there's two different sides. And for me, without the ending, without actually seeing the crash, nothing works. And it would have been a waste of time. Because of that, I actually really like the movie overall. And I think it's not a waste of time because I thought it was really clever. So I am of the mindset uh, of the one camp that believes that when the plane crashed into his bedroom, <laughs> The rest of the film, the gap between when it crashed the first time and then when it actually crashed at the end, that those moments in between are what's going on in his mind. Him dying, basically. Him dying. Yeah, like his death. Like, he didn't die instantly. Because your impact. brain does that. We don't know yeah. what happens, but when you die, a bunch of DMT so, well, like, that's like, like, that's like what flashes mind. before your eyes kind of thing. So his yeah. mind goes forward. So yeah. I'm of that camp. The other belief uh, is that he did discover time travel. Or... There was just a rip in time space yeah, that created but, like an but alternate. He discovered it. He figured out how to do it or something. And like actually, that wasn't realized. it that he 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 wrote the letter to the old woman? Yeah. Well, no, 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 that's a part of it. That's a but part of it. Basically, that he figured out the time the travel woman when he was told about it. the world ending. In order to stop that, he went back in time to sacrifice himself to, to be in the it. bedroom at that moment, mm. so the world would not end. It's basically like when the plane first crashed and he wasn't there. For some reason, it created like a rip in. It created like it, a chain of events. Well, oh. yeah. But also, it created a chain of events that the world ran. Yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. the butterfly effect. Like yeah. he was supposed to die, but because but when he, he didn't. didn't Correct. Something like, like that. So the whole and, then that and then the girl died. I actually can. I've never. I've actually die. been perfectly even split between the two. I believe both are very, very viable options. I've okay. never been. I, one so or do the I. Other. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm more like, like uh, the one. It, to works, me, it works as a better film, I think, to me. If that's other his like dying moments, because uh, it's just I find more gaps in the time travel theory like it doesn't work as smoothly to me so not yeah, time travel it's not that's why that's why I'm so confused well, again, like, I thought right. it was an alternate reality gets created that starts fucking up the world slowly and surely and that's why all the characters are like caricatures of themselves yeah that's like part of it it's like because the, again, like within getting, the like, time travel there's still like a lot of other theories like within the these are yeah. two broad strips. well it's theories. not even so the the time travel what so, I got like from the it, other portal or the time travel is one theory right the other one is those are just his dying moments and those are like the thoughts of like a dying teenager 
I got like it was like a wormhole that like ripped that basically created like an alternate that was just gonna get destroyed either that was gonna destroy like everything basically the world the yeah. universe I guess is the best way to put it because it created like an alternate reality and it would make sense then if you thought about it like why the characters are all acting but then again too really then if he sacrifices ripping. himself what how does that solve I know the I mean I still, that doesn't make that, sense that to me has a well, because he was supposed to die to begin with, and something but about it him click, getting But if a wormhole out, is opened, it's opened. Right. I think the level, though, was, like, something about him walking away from that bed was not supposed to happen, and him doing I, that created... Well, yeah, because, again, like, for me, though, I still have more questions than because that Because there, there were several people who died who wouldn't have died had, had he, he died. Right, right. Like, and so even after the bunny, he lived, like, the bunny goes back, you know, the bunny, Yeah, the these, bunny character died. The bunny. The girl... It was um, like, that's like the creepiest. I was always so confused. Like, who dresses like that? Like, where do you come up with that I, idea? True. It's a creepy bunny costume. It's a creepy. Some people like it was Halloween. It, it creeped me out, even as a kid, for whatever reason. It I, creeped me I out. And that kid, too, is in some stuff, although I can't place him I right couldn't now. I couldn't know Duval. Yeah. I did a movie with him. He's we so cute. Here. Uh, <laughs> He's cute, though, too. But, Although he always plays, like, a stoner, like, an ultra well, stoner yeah. dude. Well, sometimes you are a type. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I imagine he's probably like but that. I, hey, James. I did, <laughs> I did appreciate the payoff because I was like, whenever he first took the mask off in the, um, the, movie, in the theater, movie theater, I was like, what the fuck? And his what eye, what yeah. happened? And then he said, sorry. That... Like he so added he's a the Canadian blue. one. <laughs> he added the out of the blue said sorry, I'm sorry, and then he said something else. Right. And I was like, why would you say I'm sorry? That's stupid. What? But it makes sense. And then whenever everything happened, like he, he runs over it, the girl. He ran over the girl. I was like, oh my god, the sorry makes sense. Because I was Agreed. like, why would he say that? That's stupid. That's weird. So, <laughs> any other questions, comments, or concerns? No. So would you recommend this movie to others? I still do. I yeah. mean, I still think it's absolutely watchable. I think some of the, some of the there's moments, like I said, that are really interesting. Um, the CGI, ironically, to me, didn't... It, to me, in, in 2001, it wasn't great, and now it's still not great, but it's, like, not drastically less good, you well, know? Yeah, Because right. I think it was always yeah. kind of shitty. Well, because it was, it was also, like, so lower it wasn't fun, as... Yeah. Never it couldn't the, be that low with Drew Barrymore and freaking Patrick Swayze. You see that, but Drew Barrymore, no, but Drew Barrymore was it, the executive so producer. She just did it. Yeah, she was the executive producer. And also, that's what Patrick Swayze, what was he really doing? I mean, I love Patrick Swayze. Don't Living off Dirty Dancing residuals. I know, that's what I'm trying to say forever, though, yo. I mean, like, seriously, forever. Because Patrick Swayze just kind of... I mean, he did more than Jennifer Grey. <laughs> she got a nose job. That's yeah, she shouldn't have done that nose shit. Job. She shouldn't have done that shit. She, she doesn't have an iconic face. I don't face, don't get a fucking nose job. You so, don't change your face so no, much that you don't look the same. Correct. So that being said, I also would recommend it, even though there was a large time where I was like, why am I watching this? I hate this. Fuck Danny. <laughs> I've never had that experience. Listen. In this time. I, this is the first one that I've suggested that I we know. watch, and I'm it wasn't good. a fucking musical or a Hallmark or a Lifetime movie. You bonus points. Or a rom-com. I do so have a line. suck it. All of those are harsh lives to not pass. <laughs> Unless we're, like, talking about what we would do and who we would kill. Then maybe. But that being said, I would recommend it. I do think, like, the tail ending makes it all worthwhile. And it makes me, ironically, even though I had a miserable time during a large part of the film watching it, I want to go back and rewatch it, remembering now what the ending is. And being well, like, let and me see. Well, and see if you can see more, like, right. the hints. Yeah. Or I want to watch fun. it again, yeah, for the same reason. How about you? Would you recommend it? Yeah, I would, unless there are people like me and don't like to watch sad movies because it was a fucking bummer. I yeah, never thought it was such that a bummer. Sad. Well, I don't know. Oh, like, the mom sad. smoking a cigarette by the tree, knowing her son yeah, is dead, that and is like a bit. waving and a kid waving. to be like, I have to wrap my hand up. Like, fucking, no, I honestly yeah, think no, that's I just one of those weird like, moments. Shock. I actually think that's yeah. like a shock moment. She oh no, no, it is. But I thought she did the shock well. Yeah, I believed her to be like she's just suffered a traumatic instant. She's like instance, she's there, but she's not really there. I believed all of that. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, that being said, comment down below with what you think if you've seen the movie. If you haven't, you can check it out on Amazon Prime and a myriad other places. Uh, let us know which side of the team you reside on regarding the ending. Do you think that it was all a dream or like a death dream? Or do you think it actually was some kind of time travel, wormhole, etc.? Comment down below. And as always, don't forget to like button down below and subscribe. I produce new videos here every week whenever I get a chance. And 10 million bonus points if you're on a Patreon where you get signed swag. Google Patreon. Hangouts and a bunch of other stuff and it helps Whoa. support the channel. Support the boobies. Support like the bra. <laughs> be a bra, you guys. Just be a bra. Just be a bra, bra. Like that's, that's not be a bra, Just be bra. a bra, bro. Support the boobies. 
be a bra right, bro. Have you ever I met like that. a horror fan that would fall into a bro category? No, it's like, just ever? saying. I'm not saying you're a bro. I'm just saying be a bra bro. It's, That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's an expression, dude. Can you say that ten times fast? No. Be a bra bro, be a bra bro, be a bra bro. Oh, bra. I'm totally making a, a song. Be a bra bro, be a bra. Yep, it's gonna happen. That's gonna be our hip hop song. If you support the, the Patreon, Maybe. that is not. We're not gonna help support creating that song. Actually, <laughs> yes, we will. We're totally gonna do that. Bye. Bye. Bye.